there. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here and I hope that you are having a great day thus far, no matter what time of the day that you are watching this video. Now it is actually getting nearing time to happen upon evening. <laughs> so I am really ready to relax and get into some of my reality TV watching this evening. So hopefully your day has been good. Mine's just been pretty good so far. And so I'm grateful for that. So now this video is going to be a little bit of a lighthearted one and the last one for today. And so if you did not get a chance to see some of my earlier videos, make sure you get a chance to take a look at those and, you know, leave your thoughtful comments below and let's have a conversation about those. We've talked about a lot of stuff today and a lot of heavy concentration on the Real Housewives of New Jersey, as well as Portia and Simon and a little bit of Angela and Michael. So yeah, I hope that you do enjoy those videos as well. And like I said, this one's going to be a bit of a lighthearted video. We're just going to dibble and dabble a little bit with a few celebrities today and just kind of talk and just uh, yeah, communicate about what's going on with them right now. <laughs> now, um, this video actually, one part, as you can see on the um, thumbnail for us in the title, we're going to be talking about Janet Jackson a little bit. Now, this actual sharing um, is something that I found before the passing of Tito Jackson. So I definitely want to take the opportunity to just to send my well wishes and prayers and thoughts to the Jacksons and the Jackson family as well. Um, pretty big loss, you know, as we all know that uh, Tito Jackson is a very legendary uh, entertainer and person. Um, he was also a pivotal group member in the Jackson 5 and obviously Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson's older brother. So definitely rest in peace, Tito. Um, I know that there was a lot of uh, things that have come along the way since the Jackson 5 and the height of them and some controversy because... That's just the way it goes sometimes in the celeb world, right? And so I haven't had an opportunity to do a reflection um, on him at this point. There was so much going on in the beginning of the week with other news as well as uh, Frankie Beverly passing away, which is, whew, that one also hit hard. And so I definitely will be taking an opportunity to do um, reflect and, um, yeah, reflections on both of those Um gentlemen and pivotal change makers in um our culture and celebrity and music as it is um sometime this week or weekend probably now since we're um i think on thursday at this point so um be on the lookout for that as well so for this video we're going to be talking about katie perry and orlando bloom i don't believe i've ever talked about them um at any point i don't recall any news stories that i have covered about them but i did come across a funny sharing about you know it's one of those things where you don't always know your partner fully and uh you know sometimes you get surprised every now and again and sometimes good surprises and so that's always a good thing but we're also going to be talking about kevin hart um no not about his comedy but apparently he had had a line of a vegan restaurants i believe um we'll get into that a little bit more because i do remember he was kind of getting into the food industry but apparently his restaurants are now abruptly closing so kind of curious to know what's going on with that so we'll see what the sharing offers for that and then lastly again we're going to be talking about janet and a story that i came across again prior to um the passing of her brother um where she shared about a um wardrobe malfunction <laughs> um so yeah but it was in front of the queen of england and so i thought that was kind of a cute story i do often like to watch interviews um, when janet likes to give them um because they're always so funny and yeah i just thought you know look it's been a really full day of a lot of other meaty stories and i thought this was a lighthearted one and i wanted to just kind of share and hang out with you guys a little bit on it so let's go ahead and get into the first sharing and it is going to be with Katie and uh, Orlando Broom. I'm not saying either one of the names correctly. <laughs> Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. Now, of course, we all know Katy Perry is a pretty famous, I guess, singer. And um, she also, I think, did her last stint on uh, American Idol. I don't know what season she left out of. I actually stopped watching American Idol after season seven, so I'm way behind on that. But I do know she was one of the celebrity judges. And uh, yeah, I don't know how that all ended up for her to no longer be doing that. Sometimes it's just, you know, time to move on. 
Now, I do know that herself, you know, she had her songs that were um, very, very popular. And um, so I don't need to really give her much more of an introduction than that. Orlando Bloom is also a longstanding actor. Um, he's been around for quite some time. And I believe they've been in a relationship for quite some time. And they also have a child together. So there's that. So according to EW.com, which I think is a Entertainment Weekly, um, Katy Perry surprised to learn that her fiance, Orlando Bloom, has a star on the Walk of Fame. And basically, I guess she asked, like where which i find that to be interesting because you know you're in this business and yeah of course not that every type of trinket that you may get may seem like it is a big deal especially if you're one of those people who say i'm just in it for the art but it is nice to be recognized and i think the star on a um, hollywood walk of fame is a big recognition and it's a long lasting one as long as the sidewalks that in the stars are on are never gone so you know you have a, a place of reflection and opportunity for your fans to get a, a picture and take a look i've actually went to the hall of um Hollywood Walk of Fame myself and seeing, you know, many stars. I've taken pictures of them and it was just a fun touristy thing to do. And obviously, if you are someone who has uh, been uh, bestowed the honor of having one of them, you have your family members and generations to come and reflect on that star and your accomplishments in whatever field that it represents. So I think it's a great way of having an accolade and a beautiful reward. And if you take out the nonsensical things that we hear a lot about, um, the uh, Hollywood life and the Hollywood world and just look at the art and what the person gave in order to get a star minus anything that you may think about how they come about it and all that kind of stuff you know it's different for everybody I guess but just the art and all of that I think is kind of cool so let's go ahead and get into the sharing so um is he a big deal? <laughs> the Dark Horse singer joked. If you live through the release of the first few Pirates of the Caribbean movies, it won't surprise you to hear that Orlando Bloom has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And it did. However, surprise his fiance, Katy Perry. And I'm surprised they're still fiancés. Uh, no, no judgment here. <laughs> Woo! Orlando Bloom? Wait, he has a star? When did this happen? Perry asked, partly joking, but mostly sincerely shocked on a recent uh, KOST 103.5 broadcast with host Ellen K. You didn't know he had a star, Ellen K asked. We've never gone and visited Perry shot back. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the British actor didn't just receive one of the highest, most public and enduring honors that can be awarded to an entertainer where his star's place really takes the cake. It's right there, Ellen K says, suggesting its prime location. Where? Perry demanded. Bloom Star lies on the most coveted stretch of Hollywood Boulevard real estate in front of the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and the TCL Chinese Theater, the host said which I actually was there and I had a great time. <laughs> it was a sweet moment for the pop star who just pulled off a career spanning medley of 10 of her hits while accepting the Video Vanguard Award at the 2024 MT Video Music Awards. Is he a big deal? No, just joking. She asked, or no, just kidding. She joked. I did know there was an actual star, just handprints. What a humble man. Uh, so I guess he doesn't talk a lot about it, which is always okay too. Now Perry can be forgiven for the minor gap in her knowledge of her fiance's impressive achievements, Bloom hat was honored with the star in 2014, two years before he started dating Perry, which to me, that doesn't matter. <laughs> in addition to Bloom, the ceremony was attended by Pirates producers Jerry Bruckheimer and the actor Zulu co-star Forrest Whitaker and Flynn Bloom's son with ex Miranda Kerr. It's wonderful, a little surreal to be receiving a star on Hollywood Boulevard, he told the crowd at the time. I still feel like I'm at the beginning of my career and I've got so much to look forward to. And I think that's a great humbling place to be, quite frankly. After charting a record five number one singles from a single album releasing the most video or viewed video by any female artist on YouTube and earning 13 Grammy nominations over the course of her career, Perry somehow still hasn't been honored with a star on the Walk of Fame. She has, however, participated in two other honoree ceremonies. The Part of Me singer introduced Minnie Mouse at the character's 2018 star unveiling in a very mini custom polka dot number by Christian Serrano and presented Capitol Records with their 75th anniversary star in 2016. The couple welcomed their first child, Daisy Dove Bloom, in 2020 in a unique spin on the conventional celebrity baby announcement. Perry and Bloom broke the news via an ex post from the official UNICEF account. The couple have been goodwill ambassadors for the Children's Fund since 2013 and 2020. 
or 2009 respectively and accompanied the announcement with a link to a donation page to promote equitable access to prenatal and maternal health care which i think that's great fantastic and it is something that we certainly will continue to um create great dividends for people uh perry recently vacated her american idol judge seat after seven seasons it was announced in august that the former winner carrie underwood would replace her for season 23. well that's an interesting twist of fate isn't it carrie underwood going back to where it all started from uh so yeah i thought that was really cute you know and just definitely goes to show you that we don't always know everything that's going on and most certainly not always all the accolades of all the great things our partners do i think that the fact that he didn't really obviously talk about it was a very humbling experience and it's always nice too you know that you have other people who can tote your accolades as well you don't always do it yourself <laughs> so i think that's really great and i thought it was cute and uh, you know just a relaxing story therefore so let's go ahead and move on to the second sharing and that is actually kevin hart and um whether or not this is too um happy for him or not is uh, remains to be seen i guess now according to people.com kevin hart abruptly closes all of his vegan chain restaurants a heartfelt goodbye the Hart house restaurants reportedly closed all of their locations on september 10 2024. uh kevin's heart vegan chain has closed all of its locations according to eater los angeles the actress 45 restaurant Hart house which opened in 20 22 shut down its four locations on september 10 2024 to uh the response to the product has been incredible and we thank our committed team our customers and our community partners for helping make the change we all crave and for their unwavering support of heart house heart house ceo andy hooper said in a statement to the outlet eater los angeles reports that the food chain's locations included los angeles West, Westchester, um, Monrovia, University Park, and the flagship Hart House on the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Highland Avenue. People reached out to representatives for Hart and Hart House for comment, but they did not immediately respond. Earlier this week, the food company had announced its closure by posting a photo of stacked burgers with a message, thank you, on top to Instagram. Thank you with a green heart to our team, guests, and community who helped make the change we all crave, the post captioned read. A heartfelt goodbye for now as we start a new chapter. Now, Hart's plant-based restaurant first opened on August 25th with the aim of serving affordable food composed of quality ingredients. We cannot have enough of that. At the time, they promised the food would not contain preservatives, artificial colors, hormones, antibiotics, high fructose corn syrup, trans fat, or cholesterol. As someone who has been preaching health is wealth, building heart house felt like the natural evolution of my flexitarian lifestyle and my business ecosystem, Hart had said in a statement following the restaurant's opening. Well, it is kind of interesting how it shut down as uh, quickly almost as it, it opened up. Um, it seems like they had some sense of success. So the interesting part is what happens. Now we do hear quite often that 95% of businesses fail within the first year. I don't think that necessarily this is the case here. It looks like they're going in a different direction. Maybe they're going to go from a uh, brick and mortar concept to an online a delivery service you know that might um, be where they're going so i guess maybe we'll stay tuned for more uh information when that comes out if you actually patronize the uh place or patronaged the place i think that's the right word we want to patronize it <laughs> but if you're a patron for the restaurant or yeah i think it's a restaurant right um you know definitely let me know I, i'd be curious to know if you um did and how'd you like it um, but yeah, it did seem like it was a really great opportunity. You know, we have been dealing so much with the food and how the scarcity of it is for so many people. And that's so unfortunate, as well as even the quality of food, which has been quietly questioned over the last few years. And it should have been questioned since the beginning of time. But uh, yeah, that being said, it seemed like there was a good effort um, in order to make the best, healthiest food for us. And so, um, yeah, that opportunity, um, hopefully is not lost and there'll be a space where he can find to do that. Cause anytime you produce something good for the people, I think that's always a great thing. So yeah, I guess that's, um, Okay, that's all she wrote on that, right? <laughs> but like I said, they may be back. So I guess we'll stay tuned and see more. Maybe we'll have a nice little lighthearted conversation about them saying, hey, we've returned and now we're doing this. So let's go ahead and move on into our final sharing for this video, which is Janet Jackson and a cute story that she had shared. Um, I just love 
watching Janet Jackson interviews. I mean, she really is so funny. She makes me laugh. And I have um, really admired her music for so long. I mean, she's part of the soundtrack of my life. So at the end of the day, I just absolutely just think she's just great. She really is. And she's legendary and all of the talent of anyone could ever, you know, ask for. So yeah, definitely. We already know Janet. We don't need much introduction to her, right? We know who she is. She is the icon and the legend herself. So let's go ahead and get into this really cute sharing that has a lot to do with wardrobe. And look, it happens, right? Malfunctions happen. We're not going to talk about that other situation, right, by the way, but this seems a lot more lighthearted and more fun. <laughs> and the outpouring of what came about afterwards, maybe it was none versus the nonsense that came from the last situation. So let's go ahead and get into it. So according to Janet herself, but apparently she, I guess, was talking to Billboard. So according to Billboard.com, Janet Jackson had reveals mortifying wardrobe malfunction in front of Queen Elizabeth II. She says, I couldn't believe it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all that. Do, 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 do. All right. So the pants splitting moment. Oh my gosh. That is awful feeling. Um, I never experienced it myself. I just seen other people experience it and it is awful. Like, yeah. Anyways, um, it came back in the 1990s when Miss Jackson was performing Rhythm Nation. That's why I knew it. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep. In front of the late British monarch. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious already. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, Janet Jackson is opening up about another wardrobe malfunction in an interview with British Vogue in which the 50 year eight year old which i cannot believe she's 58 she looks great uh pop icon flipped through a look book of some of her most iconic costumes jackson stopped on one of the military inspired looks from her 1989 rhythm nation album funny story i was performing for the queen of england and we were doing rhythm nation jackson said of the late british monarch who had passed away at age 96 in september of 2022 sure enough as soon as i squatted my pants split right up my booty crack jackson Jackson said she couldn't believe her terrible luck before realizing it. It was worse than she imagined. I can only imagine <laughs> where you're actually performing in front of a huge crowd, not just only Queen Elizabeth II, but all the individuals that were, I'm sure was there as well. And then you're in the middle of performance on stage and all of a sudden the sound, the sound alone, and you know that this is a bad thing, right? Now, she further shares that then I started feeling air back there. <laughs> So I knew it had really happened. She said, revealing her quick thinking fix for this sartorial nightmare. I never turned my back to her. Well, that's always a good way, right? Uh, which some of the choreography was I was supposed to. I just faced forward. Ooh, but you know what? I bet you that was a moment, right? You never know how these moments um, come to place because it really does continue to spotlight you. And wow. So look at here. It was actually sounds like a positive thing uh, and a good way that she was able to keep moving forward. Forward. And I'm pretty sure she was dressed all in black and was probably pretty dark in some areas. So it probably wasn't so easy to see. Now, the story from the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer is extra poignant given the other wardrobe malfunctions she most commonly associated with. As you may recall, and oh Lord, we're going to go talk about it. <laughs> Back in 2004, Jackson performed with Justin Timberlake at the year's Super Bowl halftime show in Houston. Never forget about that. During which JT famously ripped off a piece of Jackson's costume, exposing her nipple for nine sixteenths of a second. And I know that there was a clear reason as to why that was put out there. Oh, what a mess that was. The moment was probed in a 2021 New York Times Presents documentary led to a raft of complaints from viewers, as well as fines and significant professional implications for Jackson. For years, many fans and pundits noted that Timberlake appeared to emerge from the pre-social media viral moment with little or no backlash. Mm -hmm. While Jackson's career was dealt a blow from the incident after her videos were pulled from Viacom properties, including MTV, VH1, and CBS, and she was uninvited to that year's Grammy Awards, which is so funny because now when you hear people talk about the Grammys now, I could think a lot of people could care less. And then you look at the stuff that we watch here just in modern uh, day of it all. Like, really, there is no such thing as primetime anymore, right? You're seeing soft P-O-R-N in some of your shows early in the day and all through the night. And so I just find it so interesting and so intriguing, but we're not going to get into it because it's so annoying at the same time. But let's go ahead and move on. The Super Bowl slip dubbed Nipplegate, which I think is where all these something gates came from, I bet you. Oh, we're so crafty as a society, aren't we? Also introduced the phrase wardrobe malfunction. 
Yeah. Into common parlance and and in the wake of the hashtag free Britney movement that blew up in 2019, led to Timberlake issuing public apologies to both Jackson and his ex Spears for the way he had treated them. Those apologies were long, way overdue. Now, I've seen the messages, tags, comments, and concerns, and I want to respond, Timberlake said at the time after the 2021 Framing Britney Spears documentary portrayed the Crimea River singer as acting callously following his split with Britney in 2002. I think Crimea River would be a good indication of how that went, right? But hey, everybody was jamming to it. <laughs> I am deeply sorry for the times in my life where my actions contributed to the problem where I spoke out of turn or did not speak up for what was right. I understand that I fell short in these moments and in many others and benefited from a system that condones misogyny and racism. I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson, both individually because I care for and respect these women, and I know I failed. I'm just curious. You know that um, one song, I think it was... Um, Oh my God, the, the duet um, with Michael Jackson. It was Justin Timberlake and Michael Jackson. I don't think it was This Is It, but I can't remember what it is. They used to play it on loop over and over again. And actually the song itself felt like it was played on loop. It almost to me personally felt like it would not be a song that Jan, uh, that Michael necessarily would have put out in the way that it was. Um, and I, I often wondered about that song and how it must have felt playing that. I mean, obviously, you know, Janet is not, Michael. So therefore, you know, the, in the uh, interest of the music and all this kind of stuff, well, uh, naturally, um, they don't intermix, right? Now, maybe Janet and, and Justin maybe had a conversation, you know, um, in uh, private or whatever, and we might not have been fully aware of it. I believe that it was mentioned a bit on the documentary that Janet Jackson did about a year and a half or a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, where she kind of was, you know, moving past the situation, but she really did take a huge hit. And so the fact that she can be gracious enough to do that, I think is great. But, you know, you can't stop... Um, you just can't stop greatness and she is great um yeah so it's just quite interesting that that took place i mean at the end of the day i guess we don't need to beat up or berate anything more than what was already discussed because we've had to hear it for a long long time and uh yeah <laughs> you know it's sometimes you think about the music and the stuff that you listen to at certain times in your life and you don't always look at or maybe even know you know the gram the ramifications about that situation and then years later then you see the ramifications and then you're like oh my gosh i was listening to that or oh my gosh i was a part of that you know whatever the case may be so uh, for all intents and purposes i'm glad that he was able to come out and speak and you know give his apologies and you know, it's up to the ladies to decide whether or not they're able to forgive and move on. I don't know how Brittany, you know, felt about it after the fact and if that apology um, was, you know, good for her. And uh, but I do wish her well because, you know, she's definitely had a, a big go of it all her <laughs> time in, in the business. Right. So definitely um, hope that she's doing uh, better and well. And uh, yeah, for Janet, uh, honestly. Janet is just, she's, she's, she's just that woman. And I'm really um, glad that I've had an opportunity to live in a lifetime in which she exists. So, and all the art and all the fun and all the joy and entertainment that that lady has brought to us. Um, she most certainly didn't deserve what she went through at all. And even any woman in any situation or any person in any situation did not deserve the backlash of what um, Janet had endured behind that foolishness. So yeah, um, Jackson, as I had shared in my last video about her as well, is gearing up to launch her Las Vegas residency with a back-to-back -back performances on December 30th and New Year's Eve at Resorts World Las Vegas. Hey, if you're going to that, let me know. Just drop it down below. Um, now we can also um, watch Jackson describe her royal uh uh, the pantsing. Oh, that's so cute. Um, they actually had a video that was clipped to this particular article that could let you uh, at least not. Well, I think you could see the video because I think it was video coverage of the actual concert. But I don't think you actually see the rip itself. But you, you can actually narrate the um, moment when it happened. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was a lot of fun to um, watch that interview. And again, um, just definitely um, passing on my condolences to the Jackson family. Um, such a um, 
big loss, such a large, large loss. It's never easy losing a family member, you know, take out the celebrity, you know, this was family. And for um, all things considered, it is definitely a very difficult thing when you experience loss. So definitely my thoughts and prayers and condolences go out to the Jackson family and uh, may you rest in peace, Tito. So I think with that, I will bid you adieu. I hope that you are doing well, of course, and I hope that you continue to have a great rest of your week and whatever time you're listening to or watching this, I say listening because I also do podcasting as well, <laughs> but watching this video and wherever it finds you, I hope that you are doing well. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Definitely make sure you leave your thoughtful comments down below. Let's have a conversation. If you heard of any of these stories or the sharings and you know you want to share that as well, go ahead and let, um, share down below. That would be great. And I think until next time, I'm going to just, uh, yeah, I'm going to roll on out. Have a great day. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.